If you can make it out here for this experience, we are confident that you will leave saying that this was one of the most incredible ski vacations that you ever had. Stops is a backcountry skiing operation in the middle of southern Montana, right next to Yellowstone National Park. This is an operation that we're just starting to try and uh, bring other people out here and experience what we've experienced for the last five years, which is some incredible skiing. What's great about this experience, I define it as the last great western outdoor adventure. That's what this place is. You get a little bit of everything. It starts when you fly into Bozeman. Your crew's out here, you're seeing Yellowstone. You're seeing all the wildlife in Yellowstone, cruising through. That's, you know, a lifetime experience as it is. Seeing all that, then you finally get into Cook City, and guess what? You get out of your car and you're getting into a snowmobile. That's the means of transportation now. Rolling through town, seeing this like podunk little western town, like obviously just an old mining town that has been taken over by people that love the outdoors and understand what this backyard has to offer. You cruise on, you get into the lodge. When we opened the doors to the lodge, it blew my mind. It is a mountain retreat that is uncomparable. High ceilings, beautiful windows, it's just beyond expectations. It's really unheard of to have a cabin in the middle of the Yellowstone High Country, right in the middle of all the terrain we can ski. And it's beautiful. It's this magnificent cabin at 8,600 feet, looking straight across a beautiful glacial valley at these immense peaks with more in the backyard. The views are outrageous from, from the roofs. Outrageous. I've never seen anything like this, views like this. And, and that's, it's incredible. And you wake up to that. You wake up to that at the roost. You watch the sun rise from that deck at the roost. You see the outline of the mountains. You look at the runs that you're about to ski. It's incredible. For me, mountains are an incredibly spiritual place. And the mountains here are no exception. I mean, you get up to the top of Henderson Ridge and you look into the Beartooth Plateau and it's just, it's breathtaking. It takes your breath away. It's just a spiritual experience. So the guys on the team, we got Luke Bufumo, Pat Finnegan, and also Keith Colbert. All three of them have the same role. They're all guides. They're responsible for keeping all of us safe out here. So we go out every morning, pack trail, because we need to ride doubles up there. And as we're going around to the zones, we predict what's going to be good skiing, safe skiing, dig on them, see what's been happening, see what has changed, and test it. And then from that decision, we make the call of whether or not it's safe enough to bring clients out. Pat and I went out this morning just to look at the snow. We picked up about 30 centimeters, which is about 15 inches of the snow. Nice and light, so it's deep powder skiing today. A, a brief introduction into partner rescue uh, because we are in the backcountry and it is inherently dangerous. You know, we're here to keep you guys safe. What I felt extremely comfortable and safe with here is we have two guides who took us through from stage one out to being prepared out in the backcountry. What that means is, first morning, they made sure we were prepared, knew all of our safety gear, knew our ski buddies' safety gear so that everybody was prepared, looking out for each other. They walked us through uh, the techniques they will use in the morning while we're sleeping in, waiting for our cup of coffee. They're out there at 6 a.m. in the morning, sweeping the mountain, doing avalanche testing. Once we had our initial avalanche training, we were ready to hop on the snowmobiles and go for our first run. Snowmobiles are a huge part of our operation. Um, we want to get people to do downhill skiing. We know that that's where the fun's at. We use snowmobiles to, to get up the hill, to bring people up the mountain 
so that they can get as much downhill skiing in this beautiful terrain that they can. We curated this system that I call the caddy system. You have now two people following the two people in a sled. They're going to ascend the mountain and get to a certain point. And now two skiers go down and the two people that are left with the two sleds, they bring the sled down. And when they get to the bottom, guess what happens? You come down, you ski down, you go right back up. That's our caddy system. And so that's really a system that we have for the people that come to us that say they want to get as much skiing as possible. We've spent now five winters out here. We've got a good range of beginner runs, intermediate runs, expert runs, extreme runs. And so what we do is we really try to get to know our guests and we try to get to know their skills and we try to find out what they want to ride. Do they want to ride bowls? Do they want to ride trees? Do they want to ride steeps? Do they want to jump off rocks and stuff like that? But the main thing is, is that whatever you want to ski, we have it for you. I came out here and have enjoyed every moment, enjoying beautiful Cook City, the surrounding mountains, and enjoying some amazing backcountry powder. It's been perfect. It's nice and steep and nice wide open runs and beautiful tree ski. It's been awesome. The skiing has been, uh, you, you run out of kind of adjectives to describe it because it's just so good. The powder is so deep, so dry, so cold, and incredible and light. Just going over your head every turn. Untracked, it's sort of like having your own ski resort at your beck and call and just get these lines that are untracked. Dream lines, no one's fighting you for mines, it's all yours. powder skied all day, you've ridden snowmobiles, you've had smile from ear to ear the whole day. In fact, it's one of the greatest experiences to end your ski day, skiing all the way back to the lodge. And you're rolling in here and smelling these great spices and the meal that's being prepared and it's just so great and it's super comfortable. The food is spectacular, the hospitality is great. It feels like family, it feels like home. After a long day out there, it was so nice to come back and warm up by the fireplace, have a cocktail. The cabin is warm, it's comfortable, it's got everything you could possibly need inside of it, and uh, all the amenities you could ever think of. Cheers to that. Cheers. We believe that there are few places that can give you what, what we're giving you here when it comes to accommodations, food, and then the backcountry skiing using snowmobiles. I've been skiing for 30 years and every day that I go out there and I experience the snow quality and the views and just that floating down the powder, I never want to leave and I just want to keep doing it and keep doing it. And the thing is, is I can't be selfish. I got to share that. I got to share that with other people. I got to bring people out. Having the best runs of your lives with the best views of your lives, I mean, we, we, we're pretty confident. Come to Roost Ops and you will leave saying that you want to come back. When I see their smiles on their face when they leave, when I see them walk out of here and say, this was the most incredible trip I've ever had, this was the most incredible skiing I've ever done, that's, that's what it's all about. And that's why I want to do it. <laughs>